holistic representation learning for mood task trajectory anomaly detection. Video anomaly detection deals with the recognition of anomaly events in videos. Video anomaly detection has also been addressed with the use of skeletal sequences. Instead of the recognition of anomalies only at a specific temporal location, we propose a holistic representation of trajectories. We show that modeling anomalies over the past, present, and future can lead to strong representations that can enable learning expected actions and behaviors in skeletal trajectories. We train an encoder decoder model that can reconstruct trajectories of a different location. At past locations, given future trajectory segments, future locations from previous trajectory segments, and in between segments that use partial observations at the outset of trajectories. We evaluate our approach on three anomaly detection datasets. In video anomaly detection, models are trained on the opposite task of detecting anomalous actions and motions by learning robust representations of expected behaviors in normal events. Anomalies are detected in inference based on the high reconstruction error. The majority of anomaly detection methods learn to detect abnormal behaviors by inferring future trajectory segments. However, this does not model the continuity of trajectories. And instead, we propose the model of trajectories over sequences holistically by learning to reconstruct normal segments at different parts of the trajectory sequence. Therefore, given a full trajectory sequence, we define a segment for which we want to learn representations for, and we use an encoder to project each point within the trajectory to a latent space. In addition, we also project temporal points of segments of trajectories not part of the original trajectory. As these points should only be part of an individual trajectory, we treat these projected encodings as negative points. We define a set of latent vectors that we learn through triple loss. Each latent vector should be drawn near to corresponding encodings from the original trajectory segment and drawn farther apart from encodings from different trajectories. We thus define positive pairs with encodings from the trajectory segment at the specific temporal location, and negative pairs otherwise. The line embeddings are combined with the rest of the trajectory and project back to the input space by the decoder. The decoder is only trained for reconstruction. The same is done for reconstructing each point of the trajectory sequence, which are then compared to the original ground truth during training. For inference, we only compare the trajectories from the recursive sequence to that of the original sequence. The latent representation learning of the encoder side is done with the main goal being to pull close the learned latents, the real embeddings at the occluded segment locations. We also want to pull apart encodings at other different locations or from different trajectories. Therefore, we define three pairs. We define positive pairs between the encodings from the trajectory at the temporal locations and the corresponding latent. Soft negatives are defined from segment encodings at different temporal locations, regularized based on the temporal distance to the learned latents. Hard negative pairs are defined from encodings of segments from different trajectories. The encoder is trained with the final self-supervised triple loss with a combination of positive pairs, soft negative pairs, and hard negative pairs. We provide benchmark results on three datasets, showing that this holistic learning and reconstruction of trajectories can both improve the detection of abnormalities at future trajectory segment, but also introduce two new tasks. The detection of abnormalities over past frames and the detection of abnormalities when only part of the future and past segments are observed. Our method learns all three tasks in a single mode task setting and can outperform previous strong baselines across all three tasks. We additionally provide ablations of increased trajectory lengths and larger occluded segments that are reconstructed as well as different combinations of the triple loss used for the Latin representation. 
the combined settings, so better performance, in comparison to previous approaches used as a baseline, as well as different variations of our approach. We also provide quality results of extrapolated future sequences from observing past segments of the trajectory for normal trajectories in which the future can be effectively reconstructed. And from normal sequences in which the reconstruction allows for the easy detection of anomalies. We additionally have quality results for interpolating present segments from future and past segments for normal sequences. And abnormal trajectories. Finally, we we'll present interpolations of past segments from future segments for normal. as well as abnormal sequences. Our code, as well as more quality results, are available online.